بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلا آلہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد The right and the sacredness of the believer is azim. And this is one of the reasons why sometimes it appears that we're excessively harsh against the takfiris, those people who declare other Muslims to be apostates, and why we are harsh against all those who disrespect and harm our fellow believing brothers and sisters. who curse them, who attack their honor, and physically harm them and kill them. And may Allah protect us from our enemies. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And anyone who wishes to harm Muslims, Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. This sacredness in Islam is from Allah, the creator of the heavens and earth. And it's from the authentic sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is why Ahlul Sunnah also is haris in trying to preserve the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the honor of their brothers and sisters. That when someone makes a mistake, that we still try to preserve their honor as long as they're not a person of desires and a person of bid'ah who is trying to advance a foreign ideology or foreign way of life and attack Islam. And in fact, undermine the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we seek to preserve the honor of the believer in every which way that we can. An Abi Abdullah Tariq, Tariq ibn Ashim, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, qala sami'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a yaqool, man qala la ilaha illallah, wa kafara bima yu'abidu min duni Allah, harama, harama, مالہ و دمہ و حسابہ و اللہ تعالی روح مسلم ان اس حدیث اب ابی عبداللہ الطارق ابی عبداللہ الطارق بن طارق بن اشیم رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ ہی سید کہ میں ہرد مسنجر اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم Whoever says la ilaha illallah, meaning that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah, and he disbelieves in what is worship other than Allah, then his wealth and his blood is sacred and his reckoning is with Allah, his affair, his accounting is with Allah. And this is in Muslim, there is immense benefits. But just some very basic benefits we abstract here is the sacredness of the believer. And so you should honor and respect your Muslim brothers and sisters. Also we gain from this hadith that when a person accepts Islam, they come into that sacred brotherhood and family. by bearing witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah. And of course that Muhammad is the last messenger of Allah and he is not worshiped. And it requires by taking this testimony of faith that you disbelieve in the Taghut, disbelieve in anything which is worship besides Allah. That means you cannot worship a government, You cannot worship a president, you cannot worship a king, you cannot worship anyone. You cannot worship a statue, you cannot worship the plants, you cannot worship the sun, you cannot worship the rocks, the, the, the water, as beautiful as it is. These are all creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is all a part of Allah's creation. He created this, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's the only one worthy of worship. He is the right, he is mustahik lil ibadah. He is, 
He has the right to be worshipped alone. He created this with his divine hikmah. And so taking the testimony of faith requires from us that we disbelieve in those other things. Meaning we love Jesus. We love Jesus more than anyone. We don't worship him. We don't raise him above his level. And we love Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Jesus Alayhi Salatu Wasallam and Moses Alayhi Afdal Salatu Wasallam. We love all the prophets and Adam, the father of mankind Alayhi Salam. We don't worship any of them because they were all created by Allah. They all have died or will die. Alayhi Afdal Salatu Wasallam. And they return to Allah, the creator of the heavens and earth. And what they were here for was just to bring a message for us. To bring a message and warn us from disbelief and polytheism and call us to the worship of Allah alone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And that affirms for us in this very hadith. Allah says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, We have sent to every nation a messenger. A messenger. لَقَدْ بَعَثْنَ فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ رُسُولٍ إِنْ نِعْبُدُ اللَّهَ We sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah. Worship Allah alone. وَجْتَنِبُوا تَغُودٍ And avoid and disbelieve in those things worshipped besides Allah. And another benefit we have to also keep in mind that you should not accuse Ahl Sunnah of takfir unjustly and things like this. It's that some people don't follow this hadith. They do say La ilaha illallah, but they worship Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or they worship their ancestors. They worship the graves. They even say La ilaha illallah. There are many people in the Muslim world, in Muslim countries, that they go, or they make tawaf around graves. Look at the fitna in Egypt, what's going on in Egypt. This is the political aspect. But anyone who's been to Egypt and knows about the country and has talked to the ulama and the students of knowledge and the regular Egyptians will find or visited and seen those places that there are people who worship the graves. Sayyid Bedoui and other people, maybe some of them were the Salihin, some of them were righteous people. And people to this day still worship and offer sacrifices to them. Yemen I've seen personally. I know I lived in Hadramaut. There are places that people have graves in the masjid. I've seen, gra seen masjids with graves in them. I've even prayed in some by mistake. Letting you know the Muslims went away from La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. They worship other than Allah, some of the, some of the people in the Muslim lands. So what we gain from this is to know that we have to believe and worship Allah alone, follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and avoid worshiping anything besides Allah. And this makes, uh, brings us into that sacred family of the believers, not because of our color, not because of our race, not because of our nationality, not because of our tribe, not because of our gang, not because of our hood, but it's because we love Allah, we unite based on Kitab Allah, wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah, anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabi and Muhammad. وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم